Petty Officer Sanford. Sir. At ease. Sanford, the United States Navy chose you. I chose you to become the first ever woman to join the SEALs. The most elite fighting force on the fucking planet. We found you and we shaped you. And you shocked everyone by passing with flying colors. Except me. I saw it in you. The passion and the conviction to be the best of the best. And now you want to quit over a miscalculation. It was collateral damage, Petty Officer Sanford. You need to live with it, like I live with mine. You were doing your job. My mind is made up, sir. You were doing what you were supposed to do. I should not have pulled that trigger. What you were trained to do. Sanford, don't quit. Your country needs you. I need you. You're one of the best snipers we have. Maybe the best. I would not trust myself with the weapon in my hand, sir. Any weapon. Since when did it become about you, Sanford? Sir, when I joined the Navy, I swore to protect the innocent. I failed to do that. I closed my eyes and I see the face of that little Muslim girl. And I see the face of my little sister. All right, ladies, your community service starts by setting up this space for the Urban Youth Fundraiser. You're gonna set up those tables and chairs. You're gonna decorate the room, serve the food, bag all the trash afterwards. Are you shitting me? We're supposed to do all that work. My God, we'll be here all day. You work hot doing blow. Actually, we told the judge that wasn't our code. The tablecloths, the plastic, the napkins, the utensils, and that banner needs to go up on the wall. <laughs> This is so fucked. My dad's lawyers are gonna hear about all of this. Oh, good. What did she do? She didn't do anything. She's volunteering. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I'm Megan. This is Nicole. What's your name? Dominica. You can call me Dale. Nice to meet you, Dale. Okay, first order of business. You two. Clean the bathrooms. Oh, God. Okay, do it. Unfucking believable. This is fucked up. I got into an argument with my wife last night. About what? She called me a racist. Against whom? Blacks? No. Asians? No, Latinos. But you're Mexican. My point exactly. So how can you be racist against your own people? She says I am when I talk about her family. That's not racism. That's being an asshole. Los Angeles police are asking for the public's assistance in locating this man. 
Walton Travis, for his alleged connection in the shooting at a Vallarta supermarket that left nine Latinos dead. Travis is a propagandist known for his views on white extremism. Centuries ago, my ancestor, Colonel William Travis, was butchered at the Alamo, along with Jim Bowie, Davy Crockett, and many other brave men by invading Mexican forces. And that invasion continues to this day. What I'm pursuing is the preservation of the European heritage of America before it's too late. Are you advocating racial cleansing? Of course not. I abhor violence. All I'm saying is, it's time for the white citizens of this country to take back what's rightfully theirs. So after we're free from this fucking hellscape where you want to go for thirsty thursday <gasps> i heard um smooth operator smooth operator yeah. that sounds sexy hey yeah, you two I go heard... back to work you get the tablecloths in the bag and you keep flowing this really sucks you know i had to cancel a major audition that was supposed to be for today i was perfect for the part so was i you know if we ever run into Benny the door guy again, I'm gonna have some choice words for that fucker. If you ask me, he's nothing but a dirty, stinking. <laughs> must have crawled into the bag before it died. They don't freak you out? Nah, I got used to them running around in Afghanistan. That's my car. Let me go turn it off. I'll go with her. Hold on, Thelma Louise. Throw me the fob. Get back to work. I know that look, Lieutenant. What look is that, Detective? Bad thoughts? They're expecting 100,000 people down there today. Well, you don't think we can handle it? What they gave us for security and surveillance? We couldn't handle a weekday on Olvera Street. You want me to order another sweep? Might as well. Not that it made much of a difference. You were in the military? Uh-huh. Three tours. I did a scene from G.I. Jane once. What made you become a soldier? Uh, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to show up the boys. Did you see any action with you? A bit. I know it won't sound like much coming from us, but thank you for your service. Yeah, really, thank you. Morning, ladies. Hey, any of you drive a ruby red Porsche? Me? It's my car, is it okay? Well, the car, the car is great. The car is beautiful. What happened to the officer? The officer, not so much. Ah, oh, shit. What do we do now? Call Walton. He's gonna be pissed. Fuck! That's what I said. This is some fucked up shit. Gavin, shut the fuck up. Derek, I thought you had this building scoped out. Give me a break, Walton. Shit happens. Walton Travis? The white nationalist? Yeah. What do you have to say? I voted for Trump. Oh, me too. We both did. Really. Where's the uniform? Oh, uh, it's in the trunk of the Porsche. Sorry, it's got the mess back there. What do we do with them? Hey, I got some ideas. Forget it. We stay focused on the mission. What's the mission? Not that you'd understand, but it's about saving the white identity. We're white. No, you're not. You're Jewish. I'm half Italian. Even worse. Does this have something to do with that parade today? The Mexicans? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Hasta la vista, cholos. <laughs> what happens if you guys get caught? Does it look like we're wearing body armor? I ain't going back to jail. Now to you, these men may seem like a bunch of thugs, but they've seen the livelihood of their families going back generations destroyed by NAFTA, affirmative action, and leftist policies. My grandfather was a well-paid plant manager at Ford. Now my dad can't even get a job filling tires. Shit, my family can't even get by without food stamps. Our actions today, while to you may seem atrocious, will one day be viewed as right and just. And we'll be folk heroes. Damn straight. What a load of crap. You might want to put the safety on that thing before you shoot yourself in the foot. What are you talking about, bitch? Oh, Jesus, get her! So, you know guns. Have you served? I have. If you're thinking about joining, I'd man up first. Wow, Negress. That took nerve. I'm impressed. I'm not. Tape their mouths. We'll keep them down here for now. Gavin, get the duct tape. I I don't I don't have duct tape. Nobody asked me to bring duct tape. Find some tape! And where the hell is Charlie? Be here soon. We need to get upstairs. Derek. Dude, I specifically told you to get tape. I don't remember that. I honestly don't I remember that. Said it three hours. I, okay, well, I don't have this situation doesn't have to. Okay, tape. Fine, tape. Fine. 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 The uniform? Was that really necessary? I had no choice. She'd have radioed the cops. I thought I made clear the objective. I got it. But like I said, shit happens. And if we're smart, we'll take care of this shit. You enjoy it, don't you? Boy, killing? You do too. You just don't know it yet. Jingle bells. Santa's got a present for you, little girl. <laughs> she got you good, bro. <laughs> Come and get your free holies. And there ain't anybody out there. It's Sunday morning. They're doing their church thing. This is the route for the parade. You're absolutely certain? Yes, I'm certain. <laughs> Gavin, get away from the window with the rifle. It's cool, I'm just messing around. Gavin! Mind if I relax a little? That's cold. Call Charlie. Find out what's taking so long. Why well, we always gotta wait for Charlie? Because we're not total idiots. You human zero, we wait for Charlie. Any luck? Voicemail. Fucking amazing! I thought you said this place had air conditioning. What about the three hoochies? I haven't decided yet. I said we take them with us. For insurance. No way. They'll slow us down. Hell, Derek, what's the matter with a little bit of shagging? Ha! <laughs> Hell, I'll shag all three of them. Well, no, not the redhead. That one's mine. What do you mean she's yours? 
She's mine. I saw her first. And I called dibs. You called dibs? Yeah, I called dibs. And first you weren't off, there because I was stupid. the first one. Second it's off, what stupid. difference does it I make? It makes a difference because Don't I push me. Me. I can't have it. Hey, 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 dibs! <laughs> you two horn dogs got anything better to do? Good. Because I'm doing things that need to get done. Derek, stop. Derek! If you shoot me, my sister won't like it. I'll explain it to her. No, Toots, let's chill out, okay? We're here to do spics, right? I mean, Walton, you're in charge as far as the babes, but I think Derek might be right on this one. Just do it quietly. No problemo. That coon. Have fun with her. Si, senor. AD, 20 degrees south. Take her out, Joe. Take her out. Not if I can help you. What are you thinking? I'm thinking soon enough, they're gonna figure we're dead weak. Dead? Yeah, don't say dead. Nicole Sada? Go, girl. Come on. 
this should take you to the street. Find an open shop or something and call 911. Be careful who you run into. What are you gonna do? I gotta stop them. They have machine guns and you have a knife. Do you even think you have a chance? Yeah, I do. I was a fucking Navy SEAL. The hell's taking Derek? Well, you told him to have fun. Still no word from Charlie. <laughs> You don't be doing seven to ten years if it wasn't for me. And this is what I get? It's deplorable! Don't take that personally. Something's not right. If we don't find a phone soon, it's gonna to be too late. Okay, but which way do we go? Do you see anything open? The parade's gonna be here soon. <sighs> okay, let's check um, Google Maps. Where's your, where's your Apple Watch? They took it, remember? Why didn't you hide it? Where was I supposed to hide it? Maybe up your hoo-ha where you shove everything else. Oh, fuck you, Nicole. No, fuck you, Megan. nowhere. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry too. If we could just find... Oh my god. The truck driver, come on! Nicole, wait! Girl, are you crazy? I almost killed you. Look, I'm really sorry, but we need your help. There are terrorists in that building and they're gonna shoot people. Yeah, it's true. We barely got out of there alive. They're gonna shoot up the yes. parade. What are you talking about? It's... Look, we need your phone. Give us your phone. Now, hold on a second. I'm not going to give you anything until you tell me what's going on. Now, you girls, you need to take a deep breath and calm down and explain it to me. They've already killed one person. It's gonna be a massacre. God knows how many. Here, today. Yes. All right. I think I got it now. Don't you see? You feel so much better now that you're calmed down. Yeah, you're right. Now, can we please have your phone? I'll go get it. Of course, you really should be more careful next time you go up to people that you don't know on the street. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you're right. I mean, for all you know, I could be one of the killers and this U-Haul truck here could be our escape vehicle. <laughs> it's Charlie. Go down and help her.
Charlie, what the fuck? What the fuck is right, Walton? Who the hell are these two bitches? Charlie, there's no time. I'm on the roof. Get up here. Put Derek on. I don't know where he is. What do you mean you don't know where he is? Walton, where's my brother? You might check the basement. Gavin. Lieutenant, there's been a report of possible gunfire somewhere near Pico and San Pedro. It's possibly fireworks. Still, have a black and white check it out. Oh, and get a chop out there too. Blue Angel. Requesting patrol car and hello to source location. Punto por favor. Gavin, you haven't seen me this tense since the riots. Usually you're Mr. Cool. I just got this feeling in my gut. It's probably nothing. No. When you have a hunch, it's usually right. Copy that. Sorry, Lieutenant. There's no cars available right now, and the chopper's got engine trouble. Wonderful. Jared, what's going on? Jared's dead, Walton. So's Gavin, so's Derek, and I know you're up there. Still impressed?
Charlie? He's dead, Walton. Derek's dead. I'm so sorry. What the fuck is going on? Charlie, listen to me. There's a black psycho bitch in the building. Ex-military. She's coming for me. You should get out of here. Continue what we started. I had a feeling this would be my last stand. Like Colonel Travis. Fuck that. We are doing this thing together. You got that? Shit, Derek and me, we've been in tougher spots. All right, Charlie. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Stay on the roof. I'll be up in 10 minutes after I take out that cunt. All right. 10 minutes. Charlie? What? I love you. Yeah, fuck you. Right, you scoop motherfucker. Right after you stuck a knife in my brother's cuts. I want to know. Did he say something? Before he died, did Derek say something? He did say something. What? He gurgled. Die, bitch.
remember the Alamo. How are you doing? Megan and Nicole. That's not on you. Navy SEAL, huh? I didn't know a woman made it into the SEALs. Three tours. Distinguished record. Why'd you quit? A lot of bad. Heavy fighting, bullets flying in all directions. Won't even graze my helmet. She came around the corner, the little Muslim girl, with the tin box in her hands, and she was running up to my team on the ground. And My spotter's yelling, IED, take her out, dude, take her out. So I did. What was in the box? Cookies. Her name was Shazia. She was nine years old. Same age as my sister killed in the drive-by. The military court cleared me of wrongdoing. But for me, it was still a bad kill. I can't say that I know your pain, but you saved lives today, many lives. And is there such a thing as atonement? By God, you earned it today. All I could think about was can I live with myself? That question went through my mind every minute of every hour of every day. And I had concluded that if I found that the answer was no, then I would abide by it, by jumping off of a bridge, throwing myself in front of a train, or even putting a bullet through my skull. But by the grace of God, through atonement, I found a way out of the darkness, a way to ease the pain and I found that the answer was yes, I can. Yes, I can. Thank you for agreeing to this assignment, Ms. Sanford. I understand you're the best. <laughs> I'm looking forward to protecting your daughter, Mr. Aziz. I hear she's quite precocious. And adventuresome too. You should get on well together. Mesa? Bahana?
Miss Sanford. It's nice to meet you, Mason. Likewise. So, you're going to be my new bodyguard? That's right. I'm going to look out for you. Do you know how to play basketball? I was captain of my high school team. Awesome. Can you teach me some hook shots? I want to show the boys up. Well, Miza, I'm going to help you do that. <laughs>